Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Jesus is Lord Fellowship Worldwide International. My name is Senior Patora, Dr. Diana Brevon. Today's sermon is Enter the Brand New Kingdom by the Door of Pentecost. Amen? Enter the Brand New Kingdom by the Door of Pentecost. Folks, as, as uh, today, before we start, let us remember in prayer today. And then as we open up the doorways to our heart today, let us pray for every spiritual need within health, within every financial breakthrough, within all of the joy of the Lord, and for all spiritual well-being and growth. Let us pray as well for those who are in court battles. Let us pray for those who are chronically ill. Let us pray for those also who are starting a brand new beginning life within a, a brand new homes, brand new apartments. Let us praise God for those that are about to do that. Let us praise God also for those who are in custody battles as well. Let the Holy Spirit open up the eyes of that courtroom so that every person within that court will see. Amen. Let us pray as well for those who, who has been this past week in surgeries. Amen. Let us pray for the grace of God, for their health, for their healing, for the wisdom, for the knowledge. Let us praise God as well for those who are right now as well who are about to retire let us praise God to to lead their hearts to let them know that this is the joy of the Lord that they have completed their course in this lifetime amen and now is the time to arise to 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 be glad in it not to be sad in it or concerned or worried because of this finance, that finance, and you don't know what way you're going to turn in the morrow because you don't know what's going to come to pass with that much money that you're about to receive. Amen. Let us praise God that the Lord is with us at every cost. Let us praise God today as well for those who are in chronic conditions of every chronic battle within our bodies, of multiple, multiple issues within our bodies. Let us praise God for his complete healing balm of Gilead from the very crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet. I hear every chain falling, folks, every chain in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As we pray today, let us hold up every prayer request that we have received this past week. Let us also be in agreement with the unspoken prayer that lays deep within each of our hearts. Let us lift up all of those that have been called prayer warriors. Let us lift up every prayer warrior, folks, that they may have the Lord's strength as they pray. And with a hedge of protection wrapped and surrounded around them and all of their family and loved ones. Amen. Let us also pray for the needs of every local church, including the needs of Jesus' Lord Fellowship Worldwide International. Let us ask the Lord our God for provision so that his church may be able to continue to work that he has set aside for it. Let us pray for those that have been called to leadership in his church, that they may have strength and a godly vision at all times. Let us place a hedge of protection wrapped around every spiritual leader and all of their family so that they may be healed from every health situation. Let us pray and ask our Father, Lord Jesus, to listen today to our hearts and to our inner souls will be open to the word so that we may feed freely upon the message and drink freely from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray as well for those who are going into surgeries 
Amen. Let us pray for complete healing by Megillad over them. Let us pray as well for those who are seeking employment. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit rain down upon each and every request that I had just spoken right now. Amen. Amen. Uh, let us let the Holy Spirit just rain down, rain down, rain down upon each and every living temple and also upon your homes. Amen. Every portion of every corner of your home and your property and your apartments. Let the Holy Spirit just rain down upon each and every one of you today. May the Lord richly bless you today around the globe. I am Senior Pastora Dr. Diana Brivan. I love this time of season of year. I love this time of season of year. This is the beginning season of e of of, uh, of the time of Easter, and I and I love this season. Amen. Out of the whole year with Christ, it seems like His blood and His light is shining down more brighter upon us this year. I've always said that since I was small. Amen. Since I was small, it seems like the Holy Spirit's light is just shining real bright down upon us more and more this year, this part of the season, more than any part of the season. Even at the time of his birth, glory to God, in, in December. Amen. But um, may the Lord richly bless you and yours today around the globe. I'm Senior Patora, Dr. Diana Pravan of Jesus is Lord Fellowship, Worldwide International. Let us prepare ourselves. And let us open up the Bible to 2 Chronicles chapter 3, 1 to 4. 2 Chronicles chapter 3, 1 to 4. Today's sermon is Enter the New Kingdom through the door of Pentecost. Enter the New Kingdom. Amen. Into the doors of Pentecost. Are you ready, folks? In 2 Chronicles, chapter 3, 1 to 4. Then Solomon began to build the house of the Lord at Jerusalem and Mount Moriah, where the Lord appeared unto David, his father, in the place that David had prepared in the house, and then in the, in the threshing floors of Ornan, the Jebusite. And he began to build in the second day of the second month, in the fourth year of his reign. Now these are the things wherein Solomon was instructed for the building of the house of God. The month of cubits after the first measure was three score cubits and the breadth twenty cubits. And the porch that was in the front of the house, it was the length of it was according to the breadth of the house. 20 cubits and the height was 120. And he overlaid it with the pure gold. Let's go into Hebrews chapter 3 verse 6. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 6. I pray that everybody today as you receive this message today, you have your highlighters with you, your pens, your notepads with you as you follow along. Amen. And you write down all of the scriptures and your heart is led of what the Holy Spirit is speaking with you today. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 6. But Christ as a son over his own house. Whose house are we? If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. A porch, folks, is something through which you enter a house. Amen? We enter through Jesus into another kingdom. He is the door. John 10 verse 9. I am the door by me. If any man enters in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The Old Testament folks hinted at the truth of the New Testament. 
symbols and shadows. It spoke about salvation to come. They didn't even have salvation in the Old Testament. It only prepared the world for the salvation to come. Jesus means Yehovah has become my salvation. Salvation came when Jesus came, folks. God looked at those who followed the Old Testament law as people who looked for Jesus. He would have, he would have, have accepted Jesus since they accepted God's word in the Old Testament. Amen? They would have accepted Jesus just as they would have God's word in the Old Testament. Turn with me now to 1 Peter 1. 3 to 11. 1 Peter 1, verses 3 to 11. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away it reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time wherein ye greatly rejoice though now for a season if need be Ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations that the trials of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, the preciousness that though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love in whom though now ye see him not yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory receiving the ends of your faith even the salvation of your souls of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you searching what or what manner of time a spirit of Christ which was in them which did signify and when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow God has a world prepared for us folks he has he is going to remove us from this world. Amen. He's going to remove us from this world. Do you desire to be with him forever? Do you desire to be with him forever there? Because Jesus prayed for his disciples. And commented upon a kingdom. Not of this world in that prayer. Amen. In that prayer that we just read. Now turn with me to John chapter 17, verses 9 to 11. John chapter 17, verses 9 to 11. I pray as you're going along, you're highlighting this and underlining uh, your word. Amen? John chapter 17, 9 to 11. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For thou art thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in this world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one. Folks, turn with me now to John chapter 17, 
verses 15 to 16. The same chapter of the book of John 17, verses 15 to 16. Have that highlighters ready, everyone. I pray not that thou shouldst take them out of the world, but thou shalt keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. John chapter 17, verse 24 next. John chapter 17, verse 24. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me here where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Only those folks in Christ Jesus are those who are not in the world. Okay? Jesus prayed for those whom the Father gave to him. And all who accepts Jesus Christ are in that prayer. Romans chapter 6 verse 4. Romans chapter 6 verse 4. Amen. Are you there? Romans chapter 6 verse 4. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into the death of Christ Jesus. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. Amen? Newness of life. What is newness of life? The Holy Spirit. Okay? Newness of life equals spirit. Please write that down in your notes. Newness of life equals the spirit. In newness of life, like being in a kingdom, this idea of being in is also repeated as follows. Now turn with me to, to 1 Corinthians 15.22. You're going to hear the word in. Okay, repeat it. Okay, 15.22. For as in Adam all dies, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Do you understand? Everybody who is in Adam, still of the days of old, they are what? They are dead in Christ. Those who also are in Christ, they are all made alive. We can be in the two different sons of God. Okay? Now listen to me. We can be in two different sons of God here. Adam was a son of God. But he failed. Amen. Luke chapter 3, 38. Amen. Luke chapter 3, 38. Let's go there. Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Seth which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Amen? 1 Corinthians 15, 49. And as we have borne the image of, in, of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of heavenly. All mankind is divided up into two groups. Those in Adam and those in Christ. What did you just say, Pastora? Okay, let's go back to 1 Corinthians 15, 49. And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we also shall bear the image of the heavenly. Okay, number one, all mankind is divided up into two groups. Those in Adam and those in Christ Jesus. Those of goats and those of sheeps. Okay? 
Many times Jesus spoke of these two groups. Adam versus Jesus. Okay? Adam versus Jesus. Amen? The image of Adam and the image of Jesus. In Adam, in Adam, we die. We are dead. In Jesus Christ, we are made alive. Amen? God is going to make a brand new heaven and a brand new earth. And then God is going to destroy the old and he's going to go take away. Okay? And he's going to take us into that brand new which will never be destroyed. Colossians chapter 1 verses 20 to 21. And having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him. I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, and you that which were sometimes alternated and the enemies in the minds of, of the wicked works, yet now have to be reconciled. Have to be what? Have to be reconciled. Have he reconciled? I want to be in that group that's in Jesus. Amen, folks? I want to be sure. I want to make sure, folks, that I'm outside of Adam. Because in Adam all shall die of their sins. All shall die. But in Christ, we are made alive. I want to make sure that I'm a citizen of the brand new heaven and the brand new earth. Solomon was the son of David. He was a shadow of Jesus in part. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. Folks, Matthew 1 verse 1. Amen? The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Solomon was king, as Jesus is king of kings. Amen? There was no war in Solomon's time. There is peace in Jesus' kingdom. God told Solomon's father, David, that he could not even build a house or a temple because he was a man of war. First Chronicles chapter 22 verses 8 to 10. But the word of the Lord came to me saying, Thou hast shed blood abundantly and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build a house unto my name because thou hast shed much blood unto the earth in my sight behold a son shall be born to thee who shall be a man of rest and I will give him rest from all his enemies round and about him for his name shall be Solomon and I shall give peace and I shall give peace and quietness unto Israel in his days. He shall build a house for my name. And he shall be my son. And I will be his father. And I will establish the throne of the kingdom over Israel and over ever. And, and Israel forever. The name of Solomon, the name Solomon folks. It means peace. Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come unto me, all ye that labors and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Like saying, leave Adam and come to me. 
leave death and come to life. A son of the king and a, and, and a prince as Solomon was son of David and the prince of peace. So is Jesus Christ, folks. In Isaiah 9, 6. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 speaks for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of peace the temple that Solomon did build had a porch you walk through the porch to get into the temple that porch it was a hundred and twenty cubits high folks the number 120 it shows up elsewhere in the temple construction 120 trumpeteers 120 trumpeteers blew their trumpets when their temple was built in second chronicles chapter 5 verse 1 thus all the work that solomon made for the house of the lord it was finished and solomon brought in all of the things that david his father had dedicated and the silver and the gold and all the instruments put he among the treasures of the house of God. Second Chronicles chapter 5 verses 11 to 14 folks. Second Chronicles 5 verses 11 to 14. Are you ready? Okay, Second Chronicles 5 11 to 14 speaks. And it came to pass when the priests were come out of the holy place. For all of the priests were present and were sanctified. And did not even then wait by course. Also the Levites, which were the singers, all of them, of Asp and Heman and Jedeph, with their sons and their brethren, being arrayed in white linen, having cymbals and psalteries and harps. It stood at the east end of the altar, and with them an hundred and twenty priests, sounding with trumpets. It came even to pass as the trumpeteers and the singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and with the cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord saying, for he is good for his mercy endureth forever. That when, that then, the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priests could not even stand to minister by reason of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord has filled the house of God. Hallelujah. Folks, it was the very beginning of something most spiritual here that we just read in, in Second Chronicles. Leaving the natural and entering into your spiritual. A temple is something that you enter into. Just as your temple of the Holy Spirit, your body, where the Lord resides. The porch that you entered through was 120 cubits high. The temple was finished and 120 trumpeteers blew. And when they did, the glory of, the, of God filled the temple. And the men could not even stand to minister. Flesh falls and the spirit rises to minister instead. Ouch. Acts 
Acts chapter 115. Acts chapter 115. And in those days, Peter stood up into the midst of the disciples and said, The number of the names together were about a hundred and twenty. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place Acts chapter 2 verse 4 Acts chapter 2 verse 4 now let us read and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak and the other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Oh, hallelujah. The gifts of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of tongues. As a hundred and twenty trumpeteers, folks, sounded at the finish at the of the temple, one hundred and twenty people became the temple of the Holy Spirit as they spoke in tongues. They became the temple of the Holy Spirit. When the voices of the praisers in the temple were in one voice, then God filled the temple as he filled 120 who were in one accord with Christ. The day of Pentecost, folks, 50 days after the day after the Passover. Man has been in this world for 6,000 years now. 50 times 120 equals to 6,000. A special time now, leaving the flesh. And entering into your spiritual. Thousands are receiving the Holy Spirit in single meetings today. Thousands upon thousands. And are you receiving it today, folks? Have your Pentecost. Leave the flesh, folks. Leave the flesh and the natural and enter into the spiritual with Christ folks those 120 they had left the natural and they had entered into the kingdom Solomon's porch was 120 cubits high entry Jesus left this world why he doesn't belong here no more. Amen. Adam is of this earth. He was earthly. He was worldly. He was earthly. Adam. Second Adam is the Lord from heaven. Who is the second Adam? The second Adam is the Lord from heaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 47. The first man is of the earth. Earthly, meaning worldly. The second man is the Lord our God from heaven. Adam has power over the flesh. Adam had all of the power over all the flesh. Jesus has power over all the flesh. John chapter 17 verse 2. As thou hast given him power over all the flesh. That he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Our jobs is to do some fishing folks. To reel in the people of the flesh. And bring them into Christ. Jesus was in another world. Amen. In John chapter 17 verse 2. Thou hast given him power. Over all the flesh. That he should give eternal life. To as many. 
as thou hast given to him. Jesus was in another world here. John chapter 3, 12 to 13. I have told you earthly things, and ye believe me not. How shalt thou believe me if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from the heavens, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Speaking of the kingdom. Did you hear me, folks, what this scripture is talking about? This scripture here is talking about the kingdom. John chapter 3, verse 5. John chapter 3, verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Do you see what I mean when I say, those who are only saved will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because John chapter 3 verse 5. It states loud and clear. Okay. Jesus answered it here. Verily, verily. I say unto thee. Except a man be born of the water. And of the Holy Spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of, of God. What did I just say, Pastora? What did you just say, Pastora? Enter the brand new kingdom. He is in the in the in the new world right now. He is of the kingdom over which he is king of. Just as a brand new king of a kingdom of peace. Just as a brand new kingdom of peace began under Solomon. A brand new kingdom of peace is under Christ Jesus, folks. But Pastora, what did you just say again? Just as a brand, just as a new kingdom of peace began under Solomon, a, a new kingdom of peace is under under Christ Jesus. Enter, folks, into it through the door of Pentecost. Amen. Enter it into the the door of Pentecost. I'm not mocking any anyone who teaches you or or who instructs you. There are so many today who who fears the power of the Holy Spirit, which this is a gift from Christ. Amen? The gift of tongues, the gift of the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on today, everyone, and enter into this door. Keep on trusting in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Keep on trusting in Him. Keep on praying to the Lord. Keep on speaking His scriptures until the Holy Spirit gives it to you. You all have the gift of the Holy Spirit inside you. But the Holy Spirit is waiting on you to move His Word as He sees your trust in Him. He will provide you with that special gift. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My name is Senior Patora, Dr. Deanna Brevon of Jesus' Lord Fellowship. We are a life-changing ministry. We are a going ministry. We are a growing ministry. We are a praying ministry. This is a, go a growing ministry, a ministry that brings you results. And then, uh, if you would like to contact your very own Senior Patora, Dr. Diana Brevon, through email, and then uh, you could contact me through headquarters, J-I-L-F, WWI at yahoo.com. You can also contact us, Deacon Matthew and Patora Diana Bravan, through the headquarters snail mail, which is the P.O. Box. Amen. Jesus is Lord Fellowship, 
Worldwide International, Dr. Deanna Bravon at uh, P.O. Box 2752, Inverness, Florida, 34451. Amen. We are here to build you up and encourage you. Amen. Each seven days a week, we are here to build you up and encourage you throughout the globe worldwide online and no matter where you are you could receive the word of God every day through through the Lord's grace through um, we offer you and we provide you with the spiritual food and drink of of your daily Bible readings we provide you every single day with your daily nutrition of of the of the Lord's word in devotions we provide you also uh, with uh, the daily ponderings and the good morning devotionals. We also provide you with many awesome, amazing teachings by Deacon Matthew as well. Also, since January, uh, Deacon Matthew also is doing the midweek service and, and I do the Sunday service. So for the grace of God, we are here for you on Mondays. On Mondays, within all of our websites... And if you cannot copy and paste from our websites, um, on Mondays, you can receive your certified GPA Bible studies. Amen. Right now, we are in the book of Mark. As you complete that intense, deep Bible studies, amen, as you, as you complete it, you send it into us. Amen. You send it right into us, and we, for the grace of God, will supply every need for you at the end of the year for the grace of God just build up your living temple at the end of the year you will receive as you are faithfully doing the 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 GPA certified studies you will receive every end of the year from us your certification and your GPA grades amen I look forward for the end of the year because I love to see each and every one of you who is really moving within the Lord Jesus Christ amen as you're moving the Word of God don't waste any time here upon this earth folks you only got a short time left you don't know when the Lord is coming home for you you know the Lord graduated three precious babies with pause recently of one year apart 2014, 2015, and 2016. The first baby with pause, Kuka, for the grace of God, uh, she graduated 2014 of the internal cancer. Okay, within her. My baby with uh 10 years before she arrived. Okay, years before she arrived. Um, for the grace of God, I think... Um, a few years before she arrived, um, Lollipop, she left us with, um, with cancer, but on the outside of her body. Um, Nene, Nene left with a gallbladder. How do you call it? Gallbladder disease. Chucho, Chucho was the fighter out of the whole three, out of the brothers and sisters, because Chucho man said that the Lord was going to take him home at birth when he was just born but every single day he was one happy camper he loved life to its fullest he loved the balls he loved everything even though he couldn't play because of that epilepsy for the grace of God he was one happy camper and he outfooled the medical he outfooled the doctors. He outfooled all of the assistants that, that always treated him every every month. You know, he outfooled everybody. And my three was well loved here in the small town of Inverness. They were well loved everywhere through the Lord's grace. But my point here is they had a short time of life in order to to to, to live it. I had a short time with them. That's where my point is here. 
I want each and every one of you to receive this word, to walk with Christ, to talk with Christ. Amen. To receive this power of the Holy Spirit. Enjoy life to its fullest. No matter what battles you are facing today, folks. No matter what battles you're facing today. No matter what struggles you're in. Arise, rejoice, and be glad in life. Do not slow down. Do not give up. Amen. Just because of those battles. No matter what weapon of warfare is flying against you. Do not give up. Arise, be healed, and keep on going forward for Christ. Stand firm on the Word of God. Speak your promises every morning. Five times, ten times. Speak it over until the Lord sees your heart.